Hello, I'm Aaron, and welcome back to the Last Stand Gamers channel. So today we're taking a look at another fantastic creation from the Steam Workshop. Here in front of me is the USS Enterprise, an American aircraft carrier that saw a lot of service, even though it is retired now. And I have to say there's some great detailing, some really cool designs, and it can also fly. I know, I know the real one can't fly, but this is a, a nice feature for space engineers. We've got deck ramps to bring aircraft to the decks. We've got a cool detailed conning tower and we've got a lower deck that is fully detailed as well for all the crew to sleep and survive so let's take a look around this now i chose this because we've launched the plane server and i know an aircraft carrier is not really a plane thing but you can launch planes from it so i want to have a little bit of a mess around we are running three modifications the plane parts um, both the propellers and the plane parts themselves and we've also got AWG's weapons on this. Now if we start at the front of the ship and look our way around we've got these triple barrel, not triple, it's quad barreled or anti-aircraft auto cannons here. So I'll bring my character over here and we can have a quick look what it looks like. So there's two seats we have got this seat on this side this one I believe controls the up and down motion. So if I do that, yeah we can control that we've also got fire so we can blast away if we want to. The other seat, interestingly enough, controls rotation. So if I'm on that one and I make sure I can then rotate it. So to use this gun, you're going to have to have some real good teamwork to hit them incoming enemy planes. Let's continue working our way around the front. So you've got access to the various decks. You've got the prow hangar. We have the lower deck and prow engineering down there. And then we've got on the upper deck, we've got a wooden deck. Now, this is accurate because aircraft carriers of an earlier time had wooden decks. It was easy to replace. They could peel it up. They could change it. Um, and basically, if damage happened to it, it would be easy. A bit, a bit of woodwork at the port, and they would have their carrier back in operation. As we come to the lower area, we've got the red paint to mark the below water line. And as we come along the side, there is various different weapon stations. So we've got some missile turrets stationed along the side here. We've got these little gantries so you can navigate along the side. And we've also got ourselves some interior turrets. I'm guessing on the real one, these are kind of replicated by 50 caliber machine guns, but still really cool indeed. So you can make your way down the side of the ship so you don't get hit by any aircraft. There is a little dint in the deck here that I caused when I was doing some testing before, but you will have to ignore that. So coming into this area, we've got two more of the anti-aircraft cannons. These are staggered on these little decks positions look super cool and then we actually have the tower itself now correct me if i'm wrong here but i believe this rear area here is for aircraft observation when they're coming into land and the front area is actually a bridge for sailing the ship and of course you've got the little signs labeled here to bridge and you've got the various other entrance areas it's quite simple this interior as you can see here when it gets up to the top area though they are using a small ship grid block to create these smaller windows add that detailing in here and you can see there's not a load of detail in here and there is a little bit of a gap it might be able to be sealed a little bit closer to the deck in future but it's really cool i like the idea of combining both large and ship blocks where possible we've got a radar dish located on the top and we've also got this little conning tower with ladder access we've also got more radar and communication bits there and a conning tower with a ladder leading up to it so you can access it if you need to a cool feature Coming around the back, we have ourselves the smokestack and some signaling lights. On this side, you can see we've got some more little spotlights, good for navigating in the dark, I guess, if you're in rough seas. And you've got some more navigation lights there as well. A rear radar, a cool little crane. Look at that. I don't think it's actually functional. I think it would need a landing gear on. Is it mounted on a rotor, though? It is mounted on a rotor, so maybe uh, a few pistons. And a little bit of work and you could have a working deck crane if you needed to and i believe that's hoisting supplies from shore on board i could be wrong once again we've got ourselves a cool little auto cannon on the deck there and we've got another few down the side so this is quite capable of fending off enemy aircraft but it would usually rely on a fleet as well now something that is quite interesting we've got another little deck crane here on the side but we've also got all these doors located along the both the middle and the, the both port and starboard sides you can you, you can see this there's all these little doors i wonder what exactly these are for for lowering lifeboats recovering aircraft perhaps from from the water you have to maybe comment in the 
se uh, the comment section below with what you think they're there for. So we've got some Mustangs on the deck at the back here. I know they're not accurate. We should probably have some, uh, not F4s, some of the little the little blue planes the US Navy had in World War II. Oh God, I'm going to kill the, the history buffs are going to kill me. So you can see at the back we've got some more rear turret fire. And we've got this little slope here. So if you do make a mess up, you don't just go right into the back. You can recover with that slope piece of wood. Lower deck, we've got some support beams and some lower deck access here. Very cool indeed. I think we need to test a plane. We need to maybe do a little bit of a test flight. So we'll, we'll clear the runway for the moment. We'll pop that one off there and we'll pop that one off there and we'll see if we're able to take off with this Mustang here at the back. Now, we are heavily loaded. This one is capable of bombing. So let's fire this guy up. Uh oh, damn it. I've dropped the bombs on the deck. <sighs> thank, thank, thank God. <laughs> thank God they weren't explosive. So let's turn um, our propeller on. Let's get our landing gears off. Let's leave our bombs behind. At least we'll be able to take off a little bit quicker here. And um, we're going to give it enough thrust. Try not to clip all the other aircraft on the deck, Aaron. Because you're a rubbish pilot. Need to play a bit more Wall Thunder, I think, or something. And there we go. Let's see if we can get enough speed up to take off. Oh, there's something awesome about this. I don't know why exactly. There we go. And we're in the air. Now, the challenge is going to be landing. So we'll circle back around. We'll try not to lose too much airspeed and fall out of the sky. We'll bank back around. Now, I believe these are built by Space Knot, these aircraft. I, I could be wrong. It was one of the aircraft from our lovely uh, Gulf server at the moment. But there's the carrier in the distance, and it's all beautiful glory. I mean, we might need some sort of flaps to slow down. Let's see if we've got them built in. Yeah, we do have some flaps, so we can stop. Now, we need to avoid the bombs that we've dropped on the back of the runway, because that would not be smart. And we need to do a real gentle approach. Now, approaching from the cockpit here, it's going to be difficult. We don't want to clip any of them aircraft. We're going to bring our speed down. We're going to try to stop sliding left and right. Let's get them air brakes on. Oh, we're going to be a bit hard on the deck. Oh, come on, come on. Stop it up. Wheel brakes. There we go. It's a little landing there. We nearly tilted down on the nose, but we've put it on the deck safely. That's the important part. Right, with a little test flight underway. <laughs> I can't believe I dropped them bombs there. Let's um, see if we can actually go to the lower decks. So if we go down the deck elevator here to this level, you'll see we're actually in the hangar deck. Now, the hangar deck is a little bit darker down here. Of course, LED lighting didn't exist back then like it does now, so we are we are quite poorly lit down here. We have the deck elevators. We have three of these in total, and you can see they're large enough to fit a small plane. These planes might be a little bit big for this carrier, but you can bring a small plane up or even a plane that has foldable wings, like some of the World War II ones would be able to fit on that elevator brought down into this area where they could be repaired, recovered, recycled, sent back up onto the top deck and off they go. So you can see you've got a massive area for storage and there's not many things you can bump into that's really important, especially when you're a pilot like me who's, who's not very good at flying. So we've seen the upper deck, we've seen the middle deck, now we have the crew compartments to actually access. So this is crew quarters flight deck to CIC. So if we enter into here, we'll have this lovely little corridor where we have the stairs. So it's nicely located on these little arrow board as well. To flight deck conning tower, to lower deck and engineering. So there's a few little areas we're going to have to have a look through here. You can see that leads back out into the hangar. We're going to come down this dark little corridor. We've got briefing rooms, mess halls, and you can see it's another large corridor. So this is perfect for moving freight and other bits down or adding your own things into here if you wish to. We've got the little mess hall in here with some lovely pictures of some fried food and sandwiches. Ship food must be quite fun because they, they stock so much of it and the, chef, and the ship chefs are so specialised in doing it. We've got like a briefing room here. I'm guessing this is showing some different sorts of aircraft. Oh, right turn. So this is showing you how to turn, move straight and left and right, I'm guessing. This is showing you maybe how to engage from a dogfight with a bit of scissoring. Coming into the next thing, we've got the crew quarters. That is just a sleeping locker room. This is this is a massive crew. I wonder how many beds are actually in this ship. We've got lockers up at the end, and we've got a little bit of a sitting area there. Coming into the bath and shower room, another giant shower room. You can see the little toilets on that side. Shower blocks are on this side. Keep all them sailors happy. There we go. And coming into this final area, we have engineering Prow deck engineering. Let's check in this engineering room. So this is just a large open room, perfect for installation or recovery. Let's go down the little shaft here and go into the lower sort of bows. Now, because this has thrusters in, you're going to see some holes in the hull. That wouldn't really work with water, but you can imagine that there'd be a massive engine deck down here. 
and these thrusters here are all marked in red we've got a bit of battery power storage here and we've got the main uranium reactor here at the rear yes there is some uh, very close atmospheric thrusters they shouldn't cause too much damage apart from the aiming right of the reactor and this is the lower deck for you so each deck is accessible to some degree i mean if you did a scenario with this you could detail the decks put some things around it so when people come aboard they have to fight around either with their assault rifle try to board the place but really cool indeed let's take off one more of these guys and let's attempt to bomb it right so we're on the approach bombs are primed and armed again once again let's see if we can climb some altitude and get ourselves up there the power is maxed out at the moment that's not too good let's bring it over and we'll maximize our chances by coming straight down the deck like so let's switch to our bombs release them oh big hit on the deck lovely let's go and quickly check out the damage let's see how that uh wooden deck has held up oh wow that's a cool effect it's, like, it's almost like the deck has set fire. Look out, we need some fire crews to the deck. Anyway, with that fire underway, let's try piloting this ship and see what happens. So we'll grab ourselves into the actual ship itself. If Aaron can work out, I have put myself in some sort of cube. There we go. We're on the main deck. Access the ship. We're going to make sure all propellers are on. So that is nine and eight. And we are then going to convert this to a ship. There we go. Ship is underway. Our fire seems to have been put out by our engineers on board. And as you can expect from a ship like this, you are not going to be having crazy speed. This is a slow hulking ship. It can go up and down very quickly. You can see with all them thrusters underneath. But as soon as people start shooting them out, you're going to have some issues. But it's just such a beautiful ship. And the idea of a flying aircraft carrier certainly a cool one anyway a great design uh, i'd like to just let you know that this will be in the description below so check it out see what you think of it and give some feedback to the creators and i thank you guys for watching and i will see you next time